Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Walt Disney World is more than just rides at the theme parks. From water parks to unique dining experiences, 32 resort hotels, plus a shopping district and dozens of activities, there is no shortage of Disney magic at the resort. There is a lot to do, and there are many things that you wouldn't even think are possible. So let's explore the entire resort as we count down 10 things you didn't know you could do at Walt Disney World. Number 10. Here on Main Street USA, you're immediately taken into the turn of the century. Everything is as authentic as can be, including the mailboxes. Now, did you know that you could actually mail a letter or postcard from one of these mailboxes? Yeah, the US Postal Service has loaned Disney these authentic vintage letter boxes. A Pennsylvania company called the Danville Stove and Manufacturing Company produced these cast iron letter boxes from 1906 until 1914. Then a few different companies were responsible for the manufacturing decades later. Now every day, the mail inside the boxes is actually collected by cast members. They then hand it over to be entered into the United States Postal Service in Orlando, Florida. The gift shops at Magic Kingdom sell a variety of postcards, including these cool vintage 50th postcards. Then the Chamber of Commerce on Main Street sells the stamps. Now in the age of cell phones and digital products, mailing a postcard is kind of a thing of the past, but it could be a little neat souvenir for someone back home. Number 9. Staying at Magic Kingdom, did you know you can actually get a haircut here at the park? Yeah, on Main Street, you'll find the Harmony Barbershop between the fire station and the Emporium. And the prices are actually quite reasonable, too. It's a pretty popular experience for parents to book their child's first haircut here. But they do also offer adult cuts. Now, they're all 15-minute slots, so they're more like cleanups as opposed to full-on haircuts. You can book a time through the Disney World app, and reservations are available up to 60 days in advance. They usually fill up quite fast, so if you want a guaranteed spot, definitely book right at that 60-day mark. But the barbershop also takes walk-ins. So my advice would be to head there first thing in the morning as soon as you get to the park to see if they have any slots available. Because how cool would it be to get a haircut right here on Main Street? Number 8. Riding one of the wooden horses on Prince Charming Regal Carousel is something I'm sure almost all of us have done. But did you know you can actually ride a real horse at Walt Disney World? Now the resort has more than 90 horses on property. And when they're not making appearances on stage at the theme parks, their permanent home is at the Tri-Circle D Ranch at the Fort Wilderness Campgrounds. Now it's here at Fort Wilderness where they actually offer horseback riding. At the front of the campgrounds by the bus stop, you can find the Tri-Circle D Ranch trail rides. If you search horseback riding on the Disney World app, you can check the available dates and slots, and even if you look last minute, you can definitely find an available time. It costs $55 per person, and they offer five time slots per day. The guide will get you set up with your helmet and horse. You'll go through a little training. It's gonna pull towards the right, go left, you'll pull left, and the foot on our stop, you're gonna pull straight back. Then you'll be on your way down the 45 minute trail through the forest. The entire experience lasts about an hour and a half, and if you're looking for a relaxing activity at Walt Disney World, then definitely visit Fort Wilderness. Horseback riding is available to those ages 9 and over, and you must be at least 48 inches tall. Now, if your little one falls under the age or height requirement, then pony rides are also offered. They can be booked directly at Fort Wilderness. Number 7. Now, this is your daily reminder to drink water and stay hydrated, especially with that Florida heat when you're at the theme parks. The cost of buying multiple bottles of water a day can really add up, and there aren't as many water bottle refill stations around the park. So, if you need some water to quench that thirst, you can just walk up to any of the quick service counters and get a free glass of water. I mean, not many things at Walt Disney World are actually free, but ice water is. 
Even when you're picking up your food, they usually have trays of water ready to go. And certain dining locations and areas around the park may even have coolers of water set up for those really hot days. The cups they offer aren't the biggest, but it's still a great way to stay hydrated for free. Number 6. Rafiki's Planet Watch at Animal Kingdom is like one of those hidden gems at the park. Not many people explore this area. I mean, with the train at Magic Kingdom still closed, at least you can ride a train at one of the parks. You also get a cool look at the backstage area of where the animals are kept, there's a little petting zoo, and did you know that this is where they offer free animation classes? Yeah, at the Animation Experience in the Conservation Station, you'll get the opportunity to draw some of your favorite Disney characters. A Disney animator will walk you through drawing the character step by step. This was me attempting to draw Pumbaa from The Lion King, and at the end of the half hour experience, this was the end result. How'd I do? Usually there are 9 opportunities each day to take part in the animation experience, and I mean it's not every day you get to draw with a Disney animator. Now over at the Art of Animation Resort, they also used to offer free animation classes. Well, that was before the pandemic. Since reopening, the experience has not returned to that hotel, but maybe one day it will. Number 5. Cinderella Castle is such an iconic symbol of Walt Disney World. But did you know you can actually go inside the castle? And I'm not talking about the walkway through the center or the castle suite because no one can actually stay there. I'm talking about Cinderella's Royal Table. It's a restaurant where you can dine right inside the castle. Once you check in, you're brought into the castle lobby where you're then greeted by Cinderella herself. Oh my goodness, oh, I hope you've had a wonderful time. The architecture in here is just stunning, and it really evokes that grand medieval feel. Then, as you make your way up the winding staircase, the mystery of what's beyond those glass windows facing Fantasyland is revealed with a beautiful dining room. From the stone archways to the wooden beams and flags, it's an elegant and majestic space. It really feels like you're dining in an old medieval castle. Now, in terms of the food, it was fantastic, and the service was also top-notch. The restaurant serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they offer a set menu. For starters, this was the charcuterie plate, and that's the castle salad, which was nice and light and crisp. The beef tenderloin was one of the best steaks I've eaten on property. And then for dessert, the Jacques and Gus cheesecake was rich and creamy. Now, if your dinner time overlaps with the fireworks, they do dim the lights and play the audio in the restaurant for you to enjoy the fireworks. This was by far one of the most unique experiences I've had at Magic Kingdom. It was beautiful. Reservations are available 60 days in advance, but it does fill up pretty quick. So definitely try and book this one sooner rather than later. Number 4. Disney Springs is known for being the shopping and food district at Walt Disney World. But did you know that this is where you can ride in a vintage Amphicar? You can find them near the Boathouse restaurant. Now you might be saying, what's so special about an Amphicar? Well, it might just look like a normal vintage vehicle, but as it accelerates down the ramp, it splashes right into the lake and turns into a boat. These vehicles were manufactured in Germany from 1961 until 1965, and less than 4,000 of them were built. Disney Springs is home to eight of these restored vehicles. For $125, you can fit up to three to four people inside one of the vehicles, and you get a 20-minute tour of Disney Springs along the water. Now, even if you don't actually ride one, just seeing it dive into the water or dive right out of the water is a pretty cool sight to see. Reservations for the Amphicar need to be made in person right by the Boathouse restaurant, and they usually operate from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. Number 3. Who doesn't like a good game of mini golf? Well, did you know Walt Disney World has two fantastic mini golf spots? Yeah, it's perfect for a non-park day. Disney's Winter Summerland is located at Blizzard Beach, and it's home to two themed 18-hole courses. 
Then there's Fantasia Gardens, which is located near the Swan Reserve Hotel, and it's also home to two courses. One themed 18-hole course, and then another 18-hole course that looks more like a traditional golf course that's a bit more challenging. I've been to many mini golf courses before, but there's nothing quite like the theming at these Disney World courses. Fantasia Gardens was filled with a lot of whimsical fun themed to the classic film Fantasia. Then Winter Summerland is Santa's off-season retreat, which has you sliding through the snow or digging through the sand. You can expect many interactive elements on the three themed courses, including many unexpected water effects. These courses are so much fun. Each round costs $14, and if you play an additional round at either of the four courses in a 24-hour window, you do get a discount if you show your receipt. Now there isn't as much shade at the courses, especially at Fantasia Gardens, so if it's a hot day, it's best to wait until later in the evening. Number 2 There are a number of live stage shows at the theme parks, but did you know that Walt Disney World has its very own dinner theater show? Back over at the Fort Wilderness Campgrounds, Pioneer Hall is home to the hoop de doo Musical Review. The show has been performing since 1974, and it's one of the longest-running dinner theater shows in the United States. Currently, the show performs Wednesday to Sunday with three dinner seatings a night. Now, what exactly can you expect? Well, expect a fun night filled with singing, dancing, laughing, plus some really great fried chicken and ribs. Once they ring the bell... You can head on inside where your table is already set with coleslaw, cornbread, and salad. The first part of the show begins as you're eating the appetizers. Then you'll get a little break to eat the meal and sides, and this will is some of the best fried chicken around. Then you get into the main part of the show, which includes lots of audience participation, plus more singing, dancing, and slapstick humor. All the performers are phenomenal. Oh, and you can't forget about the strawberry shortcake for dessert. Now, do plan to arrive at least 30 minutes before the show, because it does take some time to get to Pioneer Hall. Reservations can be made up to 60 days in advance, and each seating category has different price points. Adults range from $66 to $74 per person, which includes tax and gratuity. I mean, it's a pretty great price considering the amount of food you get, plus the show. Oh, and there's also bottomless draft beer, wine, and sangria. So even more of a deal. With the show being so popular, I do recommend making reservations as soon as the 60-day window opens, because it does sell out regularly. The Hoop Do Do Musical Review is a rootin' tootin' good time, and I couldn't recommend it more. Number 1 If swimming with a dolphin has ever been on your bucket list, well, you're in luck because that's also one of the things you can do at Walt Disney World. Now over in the Seas Pavilion at Epcot, the aquarium is home to three bottlenose dolphins. You can catch them swimming in the aquarium and sometimes even have demonstrations on the floor with a trainer. Well, if you want to get up close with these dolphins, right now from Tuesday to Saturday, you can take part in the Dolphins in Depth experience. Now this one is a bit pricey, coming in at $1.99 plus tax per person. Just note this is a waiting encounter and not a full-on swim so you'll be in waist-deep water for about 30 minutes. The entire experience does last two hours and includes more than just getting up close with the dolphins. You also get a view of the backstage areas in the aquarium, you'll see a private training session, and learn more about the dolphin care program. Getting up close with these remarkable creatures is one of those once-in-a-lifetime opportunities that you'll never forget. So did you know about any of these things on the list? Have you ever done any of them? I'd love to know! Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video!